Hi friends, today I'm going to take you through the recipe of spicy curd rice. When summers are in and one shrugs from spending too much time in the kitchen, then this is the go for recipe. Though this is typically a South Indian recipe, the variants are also equally enjoyed in North India. This flavorful rice is great when you want to take a break from the heavy foods and you are in a mood for light meal. In today's recipe, we have given a slight twist to the curd rice. This dish is better served cold. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients. We have taken half cup of rice and cooked it with one cup of water and a little salt. The rice should be soft. Then we have taken one cup of curd mixed with a little bit of water. We have one fourth cup each of chopped uh, carrots and capsicum, uh, one green chili, finely chopped, a few sprigs of finely chopped uh, coriander. Then for the tempering, we have uh, two to three teaspoons of uh, cooking oil, three dry red chilies, one to two green chilies, then curry leaves, one teaspoon each of chana dal and urad dal, a pinch of asafoetida that is hing, half teaspoon of chopped ginger salt to taste, one teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and mustard seeds. So here we go. You can make fresh rice in case if you don't have any leftover rice. For this you need half cup of rice cooked with one cup of water and salt. The rice should be mushy and soft and it has to be cool before you add the curd. Once the rice is cooled, we will mix the curd. This curd is mixed with a little water. You can add salt if required. Mix very well, smoothen out any lumps of rice, stir the rice gently, doesn't the curd rice look creamy and luscious? Now add the finely chopped vegetables that is the carrots, capsicum, green chilies and coriander. Mix them nicely so that the vegetables are incorporated well into the curd rice. Then we'll proceed for the tempering. Now we will heat oil in a tempering pan and add the mustard seeds. As soon as the mustard seeds start to crackle, we will add the cumin seeds. Take care not to burn the seeds. Tempering requires great skill because the entire taste of the recipe depends on this stage. Now time to add the green chilies, red chilies, the curry leaves, ginger, the dals and uh, asafoetida. That's an interesting spluttering sound. We are nearly done. Once the tempering is over, 
we will put off the flame wait for a few seconds and then pour the tempering onto the curd rice now put off the flame wait for a few seconds now pour this tempering onto the curd rice and mix it and there you are ready with your curd rice you can put this in the fridge for some time before enjoying it it tastes best when it is cool it goes well with papar or pickle so make this curd rice may enjoy with your family and friends so friends i hope you enjoyed seeing this video do not forget to like share and subscribe stay tuned for more videos till then bye bye